Hey there, family and friends. As always, I hope you had an awesome week. Today is Monday, and I wanted to give you a recap of how my week went. I'm a little late kind of doing this video, and uh, I don't know, not too much of an excuse, I guess. Uh, maybe daylight savings time made me tired, so I, I didn't get to this as soon as I wanted. The first highlight I wanted to talk about for this week is that on Friday, Jordan and I went to Joysticks. Now, Joysticks is a local barcade. It's a bar and an arcade. So it was really, really cool. They had a lot of games that you could go and you could play. You could play all the games for free. And from what I heard, we were actually pretty lucky. There was definitely people there, but it wasn't so swamped that we couldn't play the games. Jordan and I got to play pretty much whatever we wanted. So it was a bit of a blast from the past. I got to do Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There was an NBA game. Uh, a lot of the players are kind of from the 80s, maybe early 90s era, so I recognized a couple of names, not, not too many to be honest. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. We did air hockey, and for sure I would go again. So I'm going to lead off with that and show you guys some of the clips from our trip to Joysticks. So this is the entryway to Joysticks. It is up on the second floor. But there's this really cool artwork as you're walking in. You got Scooby and the gang. You saw Ghostbusters and more. And this is what it looks like as you start to walk inside. Uh, right here you can see that they have a Star Wars lounge. They have some game machines. In the corner there, there's a drum kit on the stage. I don't know if they have live music. I know they do karaoke on Wednesdays. They have all these games that you can play for free. This is the Goonies Lounge. Really, really cool, really detailed. Everything in here is high quality. Just a cool place to hang out. I love the detail. It's really immersive. Uh, they have the throne for the Game of Thrones, and you actually have to do a drink challenge to be able to sit in the chair. We saw a couple people do it the night we were there. And they have a nod to Haunted Mansion, as well as Jaws. I mean, this is just so cool. It's, it's like 80s, 90s throwbacks. Uh, the bar itself, you can see, is a Mario game. And then if you take a look, we come back around to the Star Wars Lounge. And I feel like this is any Star Wars fan's dream in here. They have the Han Solo and Carbonite here. They have replica lightsabers. Several different helmets from Darth Vader, Stormtroopers, Tusken Raiders, etc. All the movie posters. And then kind of these behind the scenes shots. It just looks like they're they're doing outtakes. And then one of my personal favorites, a nod to Ghostbusters. So again, really, really cool. I loved the theming that they had there. There's just something about going to a place and being immersed in some sort of ambiance that they're trying to set. So uh, I really enjoyed that for sure would go back. Now the rest of my week was pretty much focused on making improvements in the master bedroom. So I wanna show you guys what I was able to do there. All right, so I'll just give you guys a quick scan around the room. You can see definitely a big difference here uh, there was no furniture, so it's starting to look like somebody actually lives here, but I really like how everything came out. This furniture, I think, is beautiful. It was really easy to set up. Uh, I'm planning on putting a TV here. This did come with a, a mirror, but I'd prefer to have a TV in the room here. So my plan is to just leave this as is, and I'll figure out what I want to do with the mirror later, I guess. Moving around the room next, we have this plant that I got from Michael's, and I know that my mom would be super proud of me because not only was this on sale, I think it was originally $90. 
So not only was it on sale, but I also used a coupon and I got this for about 40 bucks, which I don't think you can beat that price. And I think it looks great. Next up, we have this lamp that I got from All Places Walmart. Super easy to set up. I think it looks great. It fits the room. Everything in here has this really modern style. Uh, these curtains I have had in this room, but I did end up getting a second curtain to go behind it as a blackout curtain because these are pretty thin. So uh, it's kind of nice in the morning. You, you wake up a little bit easier uh, when you have the thinner curtains and the sun's kind of shining through, but I like it to be a little bit darker. So uh, I'm really happy with those. A lot of the things that I got in this room are actually from Ross's. So these nightstand lamps, I got both of these from Ross's. Really happy with how they look. And they kind of became a focal point of the design for the room. So as you'll see, I have a lot of grays and I have splashes of gold. And these lamps were kind of the inspiration for that. I ended up finding this painting also at Ross's. So it's got the grays, the splashes of gold. I like the circles because they go really well with kind of the Disney Mickey Mouse theme being that circular pattern. Uh, as you guys remember, I got to design this bed sheet and I, I think you can see it's really starting to come together. This gold tray is also from Ross's as well as the painting that's behind it. So I went with a little more color over there and uh, all in all, I'm really happy with it. I feel like it almost looks like a really nice hotel room. So again, I'm just really thrilled with how this came out. It was pretty easy to put all the furniture together. Thanks to my buddy Jason who helped me to bring it into the room. And then it was just a matter of unboxing it and uh, a little bit of setup for each of the pieces, but not too bad to be honest. So I think that's a good spot to wrap it up for this week. Thank you guys again, as always, for watching. Uh, I'm just glad to be able to share with you what's going on in my life, the updates that I'm making, not only around the house, but adventures I'm getting to go on while I'm here. I'm trying to go to a lot of new places, obviously. Almost everything is new to me in Orlando, aside from the parks. So it's interesting to just try things out and see what there is. I'm sure that there's gonna be a lot more opportunities for me to do that. So uh, until next time, thanks again for watching.